We're still joined in the studio by writer and commentator Benedict Spence. Benedict, there are a number of extremely powerful men and women, in fact, but let's focus on the men on this list who have gone to visit this island. Now, just because they're on the list, just because they might have been to somewhere that Epstein owns or been in his company doesn't necessarily mean they committed wrongdoing. But one does sort of question, if you spend time with someone who is surrounded by a coterie of underage girls, you might kind of start being suspicious. But the only person who who has uh, lined, uh, ended up in, in prison mm. is Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, do you think any of the other people on this list could have uh, trouble ahead? Trouble, perhaps in a professional sense, yeah. perhaps in a social sense. I'm not sure in a legal sense. I think we're going to need more uh, to come out, and I'm not sure where that might emerge from. But certainly, I think, uh, appearing in any sort of context uh, on a list uh, of known associates uh, of, of uh, a convicted sex trafficker and sex offender uh, in the capacity of visiting him at his private residence where it is known that abuse took place is obviously, you know, to, to take that risk, not a good look. Um, some people, I think, are probably going to be above it slightly. I think Bill Clinton, th his associations have been known for a very long time. It doesn't appear to have sort of massively damaged his reputation any more than it was already uh, tied <laughs> right. to, um, on, on that and kind I think, of area. And this, yeah. and this is kind of the thing, <laughs> is that a lot of these people are already, as it were, on the downward spiral, yeah, yeah. so to speak. I think Prince On Andrew, the seedy list. Yeah, Prince Andrew is, again, there. I don't think that this is going to make things any worse because we already kind of suspected, well, we already knew that he was an associate of, mm. uh, of, of Mr. Epstein. I think... So, yeah, legal repercussions, I'm not sure. We'll need to see a little bit more. But I do think it's worth pointing out that actually, you know, as you say, uh, some people will be on this list through sort of association, almost maybe even coincidentally. Um, but what does it say more broadly about the culture that people were able to interact with him and not say anything, not you know, right. ring the alarm, because perhaps... But they yeah, expected there's it. There's these... already a joke going around America. If you're not on Epstein's list of shame, you're nobody. You're nobody. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> you know, as you say, Alex, this is a story of powerful men exploiting yeah. young right. women. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only person that got convicted for it was a woman. That's mm -hmm. all wrong. The people on that list are on that list because many of them are witnesses, which suggests that they saw and knew what was going on, whether they partook in it or not. Mm -hmm. That is why they're on the list. They're not there because they just happened to bob there for no. a day to do some snorkeling. They will also have been they will have been targeted, some of these people, either because it was known what their proclivities were, which is rather seedy and rather nasty, or in a way to entrap them in, you know, sort of the best case scenarios mm. for these people, because they were powerful, because they were rich, because they had things to lose, but also because they had the power to help Mr. Epstein and his associates if they needed it. So we need to remember that there will be people uh, who are on this list for that reason, as well as people who were actively, potentially engaged in similar behaviours. But I, I go back to what I was saying, which is that Probably the reason why this didn't come to light earlier, why people didn't speak out about it, is because it was almost just sort of accepted. And certainly, if you know that, uh, that, that Jeffrey Epstein is a friend of Bill Clinton, say, and you are, I, I don't know, you're a minor celebrity, you're not necessarily going to be the person to say, well, oh, I'm going to blow the whistle on this and yeah. potentially former <laughs> President Bill Clinton and others. You know, you are going to sort of keep shtum about it if you are worried about blowback on yourself. There's a degree of self-preservation here. But if this is commonplace... You know, if, if Mr. Epstein is the only one that we know about, but that other people sort of behave in this way. I mean, we know, for example, that former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi right. kept a coterie of women oh, around yeah. him, and it was well known. It wasn't so much about underage uh, women with that, although there were underage yeah, women, were we know that. Girls, it was, but it was about power. Was That's the bonga the bonga part. But yeah, the bonga bonga. Yeah. And it's, it's always like, I say it's always like that. Often it is about the power. It's about the spectacle. It's about it's, showing off to people amazing, and bringing yeah. people into your confidence. And then they are... Yeah. He was trust. brilliant at different. that quite Clearly. It's amazing yeah. how many people sort of of this sort of Epstein Savile inclination just operate in full view yeah. of everybody else and everyone just goes, oh, you know, because they're so powerful and so famous, does it? Matter? And his life story is extraordinary. I mean, he was basically an office boy made good. Uh, so uh, maybe we'll come back. Mm. We're coming back to well, this Berlusconi story. Well, was a cruise ship singer. There you go. So there that's you from go. humble beginnings to yeah. major yeah. infamy. We'll be